All right, everybody, welcome back to Stonebreaker Does Stuff. It is Sunday, October 22nd, 2023, about 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Colts game, broke my heart. Refs, big middle fingers, you guys. But in better news, today we're out here with the Ingwe E26 e-bike. It is a little departure from what I have with the folding e-bikes. This is a 26 inch tire by four inches wide. Big old fat boy, front and back. I believe it's 180, is it millimeters? I don't know. Rotors, uh, hydraulic brakes, I do believe. Right now, I'm getting ready to once again, as you can see on the sign, go on the Covington Circle Trail. This is the south end. Not a lot of videos filmed on this side yet, but I'm sure there will be. Uh, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a opinion my thoughts on this i have gone i don't know if you see that just over 13 miles on it since i've had it um short story i like it it's a little bit of adjustment coming from the 20 inch fat bikes um, i do kind of feel like i'm having to reach over a little bit but the more i ride it it won't feel that way it'll be more like i'm riding a bike uh, having these nice big tires is good for the bumps <clears throat> And also this is a dual suspension. So they've got the uh, suspension right here with the fork, obviously. You can lock and unlock it like a lot of bikes. Uh, but also on the pole, it's got a suspension. Don't know how good that suspension is, but I can definitely feel it when I'm going over some bumps, going up and down. Uh, not hard to put together. I did have issues with the front tires I talked about on the last videos. Um, also the spotlight or it's so bright i call it a spotlight um, but the front light is almost as bright as a spotlight it has a lot of power and i did have some issues and it's still needing to be worked out a little bit um, the washer that they give you to put on the front i don't think it's big enough so i had issues with it every time i'd hit a bump it would just wobble and wobble and move left and right i still need to fix that i just put a bolt in there right now obviously that's not going to stay that way just to put it on there so i can ride it around a little bit but yeah, I really like it. The collars pop, bright yellow with the black indentations, you know. The back rack, as you can see, pretty neat. It has the Ingwe etched into it. It says the maximum on this bad boy, 25 kilograms. I think that's what, 55 pounds? I'm just throwing that number out there. I could be wrong, um, but I really like it. I only put 13 miles on it. I can't give a proper review. I do like the grip rubber handles i like having these uh little folding things at the end because that way because you know i feel like i'm kind of reaching over i can put my hands like that and i can kind of lean against it a little bit till i'm used to it so i like it i also like the display um very bright i'm used to the displays on the the Ahoras, which are the same so i like having a little bit of difference in the collars very big miles per hour pedal assist easy to see uh, this has been unlocked so i have gone through the settings and bumped the speed up a little bit i think i've un i think i've done some of the other stuff but i'm not 100 percent sure if i've done it correctly going through the p settings um, you can adjust the pedal assist levels i prefer five i think that's what most people probably like uh, if you want your strength to be more on the pedal assist level you can go in and up it so for example, I think pedal assist one, uh, is it at 50? I can't remember if it's at 50, but if you want more of a challenge, drop it down. If you want less of a challenge, bump it up. Uh, you can do that with all five levels. Me personally, I like to leave one and two alone. Uh, I've actually dropped one down a little bit and then uh, three I've left alone. Four, I think I bumped it up a little bit because if I'm on pedal assist four, I'm usually just trying to get somewhere quickly. And then I think pedal assist five starts out at 96%. And I think I did leave that alone just cause I didn't really want to mess with a little bit. Um, pretty basic pedals, no real complaints about that. Um, shifting, it's got the standard seven shifters at uh, Shimano, I think that's what they call it. Yeah, it's about on every bike I've ever seen. It's got really good fenders, which I think I need to 
adjust these, not the cheap plastic ones. Yeah, so this is the Ingway E26. As I've seen other people talk about in review, it seems to be a really good value for the price. Uh, I got this on sale for $10.99. I wish I could say that was $10.99, but I got it for $1,099 free shipping. From the day I ordered it, I think I got it eight days later, so not bad. Shipping was okay. Didn't have any issues with the shipping. Um, I do have, I don't know if I can show it here, but on the rims, yeah, here we go. I don't know if you can see that. A little scratch, a little dent too, so I don't know. And that's also on the back. Probably not gonna be able to see it on the back rim, but also a spot here. It looks like it's not gone through or anything, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm sure those things are still under warranty for a year, so if something happens, it happens. Um, <clears throat> I believe this is a 750 watt motor that peaks up to a thousand. It's got a 16 amp hour battery, super simple. You just pop it in there. I like this too, because the other e-bikes I have to be able to ride it, you gotta have the keys in it. And the other e-bikes have the keys at the bottom. So I always feel like if I hit something or it's dangling, it's gonna come out. Um, but the keys go right here. And basically the key is just to make sure you can pop in the battery or if you wanna pop it out. So you don't need the keys. And yeah, brakes are good. I've already talked about everything pretty much up here. As far as accessories, as you can see, I have got the mirrors. The mirrors did come in. I've bought three different types of mirrors for my three bikes, but they're all three into the handlebars. Because these are rubber grips and they didn't have like an end cap that I could pop open, I did have to take a knife and cut the ends off a little bit, but it was super simple. And these mirrors aren't as big as I prefer as the other ones, but I kind of look at this with the collar tone is like a bumblebee so these mirrors kind of look like a hive and I think overall looks pretty good definitely eye-catching those are the accessories I have put on the same cell phone holder that I have on all three phones I think it's the gub or the gib whatever on Amazon it's probably one of the highest rated ones it's super secure like it's a well a well machined piece of equipment so that's really all I'm gonna do with that. It does come with a bell, and it's one of the old school bells. It's got like a, I don't wanna call it a megaphone, but it's got like an outer thing, and then it's got a button. You press down, it picks it up, and then when you let off, it hits it. I didn't really feel a need for it. I may put it back on. Um, I do plan on getting probably, I wanna make this one a little bit different than my other two. I wanna get a rack not like a bag i have on my other ones i want to get an actual rack back here um i don't know how it's going to work with the seat like that but we'll figure something out and then definitely on the front it's got the holes there where you can put a rack on the front so i think that's what i'm going to do i think this will probably be my go-to like if i need to run to the store or something you know boom put my shit in the front do whatever i'm going to do on the back and then take it home so Overall, I'm pretty impressed. You know, can't can't give a end all be all after 13 miles, but I'm enjoying it. So enough of me talking. Let's follow the trail home, and then we'll end the video. Again, we're back on the Covington Circle Trail. This is the south end. Uh, looks like there is a car here, so there is probably someone out walking and running it. Beautiful day again, Indiana. A little cooler than yesterday. I think we're in the high 50s today. So yeah, let's uh, stop listening to me, chat, 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 and let's get on the, the Ingway E26. So it is a step through, obviously, that's something I just assumed you guys knew. Another thing you guys probably know, right there, if you wanna plug it, charge it by plugging it in, as long as you have the battery, you can charge it outside. Pretty basic stuff, you guys should know all that. So we're gonna get on it. Make sure the bad boy's still turned on, which it is. It's gonna go through some numbers. We'll put in pedal assist one. What I like to do is, uh, when I get started riding, I do like to get started by pressing the throttle, which another thing I didn't talk about, the throttle's right here. It's not a thumb shifter like the e -Hors. It's like a motorcycle, boom, boom. You know, you don't have to make those noises, boom, boom, that I did. 
But um, what I like to do is to get started, I like to get on it and give it a little throttle just to get me going. So this is the perfect little environment here just to, you know, kind of test it out. Leaves are covering the sun a little bit. It's giving you a really good view of how bright this screen is. Super thin too. That's one thing I wasn't expecting is the Eahor is a smaller one, but it's thicker. This one is super thin. And it's got the settings where you can change it, what your trip is, you know, what your odometer is, maximum, your average speed, all that standard stuff. And then the up and down here, obviously, increase the pedal assist, decrease the pedal assist. And I can say though, with this one, there is a little bit of a delay between the time you start your rotation of the pedal and when the pedal assist kicks on. It's definitely a lot slower than the Eahoras. And it does seem to, uh, once it kicks in, it seems it's more gradual, but this does have a little more torque. So I think with this one, it's gonna help going up hills and stuff. So we're gonna pedal now a little bit. I'm not for sure how accurate the speed is. I did go through and adjust the tire size. I think it defaults to 29 inches. These are 26 inch tires, obviously, so that's not right. I think I changed it to 27 or something just to try to get it more accurate. I'll have to look online and see what the most accurate setting is so that way we can get the closest representation of speed. But this right here, just pedal assist one, pedaling a little bit, then just kind of coasting according to the speedometer, just around 10, a little over 10 miles an hour. Again, on the Covington Circle Trail, this is the south end, a lot of leaves. We're gonna go under a bridge here in just a little bit, just like uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers. They know all about being under the bridge. We're gonna give it a little bit more speed here. So now I'm pedaling, I do have it in gear seven. I prefer leaving in gear seven just about on any pedal assist. There's really not a need unless it's something where you're going up a really crazy hill and you can't you can't pedal without it being on a low gear but even on that situation it's not difficult at all got the long sleeves on again definitely need them i almost i almost should have put my gloves on i swear it's almost 60 degrees but when you get on this thing with the wind it's a little chillier especially when you're out here covered by leaves and the sun doesn't get through the uh, trees and everything like it does when you're in the open. It's probably five to six degrees cooler down here. This is a very quick trail. This is just gonna lead us. Um, I just heard something behind me. I don't know what that was. I may have to clickbait that and say I got chased by a grizzly bear. So if you see the thumbnail and I include a grizzly bear, I apologize. It's, it's definitely not accurate. I don't think I'm gonna do that, but hell you never know but this is a shorter trail we might take this you know what I think I'm going to actually we're gonna make this video a little bit longer the point of this mostly was just to do a quick little review give you my thoughts and then just ride it a little bit so you guys can see how it goes but we might ride it a little bit longer than what I planned you guys can listen to these leaves oh yeah Joy's of fall, riding an e-bike. Hope you guys had a good Sunday. I'm recording this late afternoon Sunday. Um, per my phone, it says it's 6.01 actually. I did mention when I was talking about the bike, uh, I'm a fan of the Indianapolis Colts and I am not a happy camper after today's game. It is not common that I like to say the ref screwed my team because a lot of times the team screws the team. Now the team did screw the team on a lot of plays, uh, especially the quarterback. Had a good day and he had a shitty day. But if you're a fan of the NFL, I mean, go to Twitter, just type in Colts football, or just look around a little bit. And you're gonna see that it seems to be a pretty common place that the Colts got screwed. Lost by one point, had the game won towards some shitty calls at the end of the game, which cost him. They played the Cleveland Browns with a backup slash third string quarterback, basically, who honestly was probably giving him a better chance considering their starting quarterback was 
had been injured and this was his first game back and he was not looking good at all. So probably helped him out a little bit. We're gonna stop right here. All right, left, right, no cars, we're gonna go. I think we have the lady up here running. So we're gonna, we're gonna make sure we don't run into this mamacita. I like this little turn right here. Left, right, there we go. So now this feels pretty good, going to the heart of the sun to our left. And I've seen that lady out here quite a few times. She, uh, she, uh, pretty motivated to running out here. I've seen her several times, as I just mentioned. So one thing I gotta say about the bike is at least for, for me as an adjustment, is with it being a step through, it's, I do love the simplicity of being able to get on the bike. I'm not a very tall guy, I'm like 5'8". So it's not, you know, it's not too tall at all. Um, but I've read this version of the bike that is the non-step through. I heard it's, it's a big bike. I mean, even right now it's a big bike, but I couldn't imagine trying to get on it without you know, without it being a step through, it'd probably be a little bit of a hassle. I heard some other people that have reviewed this bike mention that. So, you know, if you're someone that's maybe 5'10 and taller, maybe this step through isn't necessarily something you would need. Uh, but if you're a little shorter like me, you might want to look into getting the step through. And I did hear a little bit of a rubbing there. That's Again, once I fix that, I can hear it again. Once I fix that headlight and everything, I'll get that all secure. It's not a big deal at all. So I'm gonna take a look real quick. Uh, I need to jot down this dude's number right here. Okay. All right, just taking a look at the storage units right there. That's where I'm actually thinking about storing my bike so right here we're gonna <laughs> yeah i don't think this is right pedal assist one just going throttle a little bit up this paved way look at that speed almost give it a little more see if we can get to 22. yeah 22.3 22.6 i don't necessarily think that's correct feels more a little bit like you know 18 19. but yeah let's go ahead and let's take it up here a little bit Get a little bit more of a ride than I had planned. But talking about the step through versus the standard bike, definitely, I would say if you're below 510, you know, unless you don't mind, you know, your, uh, you know, your jingle bells possibly running into a pole, you know, maybe some guys don't mind that, but Maybe definitely look into the step through. And one thing too, as I was getting ready to mention is the, uh, when you're kind of turning or you're doing this right here, kind of going left and right. I like to, when I coast, I like to have my left leg. Yeah, there's that rattle again with this. That'll get fixed. I like to have my left leg straight down. So the pedal's all the way down and it is pretty close to the ground. So you do got to watch a little bit. You know, if you're coasting along, doing a little this, do a little of that, um, that you don't go too much one way or when you're turning, you know, you don't put too much turn in. You don't want to scuff it or wreck the bike because your pedal hits the, the ground. But that could be resolved if you just, you know, level your feet instead of having one all the way down. If you're someone that likes to ride without pedaling with the throttle, Yeah, I've got to say I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I think once I get everything, you know, I've, uh, I'm comfortable with my mirrors. I'm going to tighten them a little bit when I get home. Comfortable with the height of the saddle. Comfortable with everything. I just need to get that um, headlight, you know, secured properly and move the, and move the front fender a little bit so it doesn't rub. It doesn't rub very much. It's just, it's a little loose. And I need to fix that. So I think we're gonna go around this turn. You know what, we'll head to, uh, 
You know, I'm gonna go in the grass. Let's ride on the grass a little bit here. See how good. All right, well, we're not gonna ride on the grass there. Fall into a pit of doom. But I've not been a real big uh, off-road type of guy on my bikes. You know, I don't mind. If you watched a previous video, a few videos back where I went to a little bit of a kind of a state park type deal, they did have some trails and stuff that are paved dirt, more for mountain bikes and stuff like that. I did ride a little bit on that. And, I mean, you can ride these on the grass and stuff, but man, I just, you just get me on a paved road and I'm good. And again, just, I'm just coasting right now. We're gonna get to a bridge up here and then when we get to the bridge, I'll just turn around and we'll uh, finish the video and head home. And I'll give my final thoughts of the video. There we go, let's take the grass there, avoid, all right, so avoid some of these bumps here. Take the grass, all right, there we go. Let's avoid some here. This, see, this is testing. You can see the uh, the headlights already been bent to the left. And by doing that, it's also moving the fender. So I'll definitely fix that this week. Haven't looked at the forecast for the week. Hopefully we can get one or two days like today and like yesterday. If so, we'll get two or three videos out this week, maybe. Probably gonna ride this a lot more this week. Just so again, I can get used to the feel of it and all that good stuff. Just ran over 15,000 walnuts. I think that's a record. Watch out for whatever that was in the road here. Hopefully we don't see any snakes, man. That last video, that anaconda, whoo. I was, I was looking left and right. I was, I was looking, looking for a hero. I saw that bad boy. I thought I was gonna grab on my leg. That'd be the end of it. And I do apologize. The last video, uh, when I was editing it, I did notice. I kind of was in a hurry to edit. A lot of my videos, I'll add little sayings and crap like that, which I just think adds a little bit to the video. Um, last video, I didn't feel like doing that, so. I was kind of skipping through the editing process because again, I'm having issues with the GoPro, not wanting to upload all the chapters of my video. I was missing three chapters, so it required me to do more work to be able to access the two chapters that were missing. So by the time I had everything on my PC, I was like basic, basically like, all right, let's find some, uh, let's find some royalty free music, which is what I did. Um, after we find that royalty free music, let's go ahead and just kind of get get it on there and then get the get the YouTube video out. And I kind of skipped through the audio. When I was doing the audio, you know, I put the audio in there. I put it down to 12%, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. I tried to edit out the beginning of the, the music where there's silence and I tried to edit out the ending of the music when there's silence as well. Uh, just so it would flow better and I just completely missed the the beginning portion. I forgot to put the volume down. So that's my apology. So right here, we are going to We're gonna turn it back around. We're gonna ride this trail back home. I don't know if you saw the sign, but no horses. Luckily this is a bumblebee. Black and yellow, black and yellow as the song goes. I wonder if I can find a uh, royalty free, like sympathy music or symphony music of black and yellow, black and yellow. You guys will know before I know when I upload this what music is playing, but by golly, when I get home, I'm gonna look and see if I can find some type of royalty free. I could put legit music, you know, my 35 views I'm gonna get on a video. I'm pretty sure that's not gonna flag anything. I don't know, it might flag something, but um, we're we'll just see if we can find some royalty free stuff. <clears throat> gonna head back down this little hill here. 
over the bridge again. I need to find one day this week where I can actually, you know, go for a lengthy ride on this, just to kind of test the battery. Now, it feels better going into the sun. I got some sun on my right side, keeping me a little warm. All right, you know what? We're gonna skip these again. We're gonna test this lamp and see how good it'll do. Okay. This is a this is a good way to test the this the seat post with the uh, the shocks. It's a good way to test it. So I've done this whole ride basically, and pedal assist one. PAS1 down there, super easy. I'll have to see what percentage it's on because I'm almost positive I either left it alone. I know I didn't uh, increase it. So pretty impressed with the pedal assist level. Again, when you're pedaling, as I talked about earlier, it, the uh, doesn't bolt too right ahead. It's kind of a gradual, you gotta, I would say pedal, you know, a couple rotations and it kicks in and it's a slow build up. It's not anything that is gonna just, you know, full speed ahead. Tell you what, I need one of these bike companies to sponsor one of these videos. I will use my money to fix this trail. All right, let's, so let's go up to five here. Let's get pedaling, let's see. Well, I don't know if I wanna do that yet because I got some more bumps up here. I thought we were free. May, are we free? We might be free from them. You can hear that motor really kicking in. Oh, more bumps. Let's go around these some bitches. All right, let's get going. No more bumps, I don't think. Let's give her give her some gas here. Make her smoke. So per the uh, speedometer on the bike, just under 29 miles an hour, probably could have got it up to 30. Again, not 100% sure how accurate that is, but probably pretty close. There's a stop sign I fully stopped at. Now let's ride into the sun and drop it down to put it on pedal assist two to finish the ride here. So some final thoughts in the 17.8 miles I've put on this, I really do enjoy it. I feel like it'll be, well, let me fix this damn head headlamp again. I figure I'll get a lot of use out of it. Again, this will probably be something that, you know, I ride to the store, probably won't be something that I'll take out on like, 25, 30 mile, 30 mile rides. Unless I'm going out with some friends. I'm probably one of like two or three people in my town right now that has an e-bike. There is one gentleman that, he was on my last video, he's got, he's got an e-bike, he's out quite a bit, but you know, I can always bring my two bikes with me. So if I got people that wanna ride with or whatever, and we wanna go on a longer ride, we can do that. I can also, based on the fact that I have two Eahoras, I can take out one Eahora and I can use one battery and then I'll just bring the second battery because the both bikes use, use the same battery. One's a little bit of a higher amp hour so I can extend that. I don't know if that's something I'll get to do the rest of the year, but uh, it might be something in the springtime. So a lot of options to do. That's another reason why I got two Eahoras, same batteries, so I can always go out on one, bring two batteries, and do probably one of the longest drives. But all right, guys, summer good stuff here. Editing, gonna do a voiceover. 
Overall, really like the bike. I think I'll like it more the more I ride it. A lot of good things about it. Definitely a good value bike. I would recommend it. I'll have a better review as the weeks go on and I get more experience. But as always, appreciate you guys spending your time helping me waste my time. Be sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.